And even before the game starts, Kevin Heffernan and the Dublin selectors have switched their right attackers. John Caffrey, number 13, is playing right half forward, and Farney Rock, number 10, is in the right corner. And the referee is P.J. McGraw from Mayo. Jim run in, the shot from Jim at a difficult angle. It's a good, good point. That was on the 20 meter line. A big midfielder, he got a nice pass from Kieran Duff. It was at a difficult angle though, and he puts it over. DJ Buckley here to Brian Mullins. Anton O'Toole is swung out to the left. He gets the pass from Mullins. O'Toole with the shot, that's from an angle, and that's the score! And so O'Toole has happened again last Sunday. The score from the full forward, he worked around the full back nicely, but a lot of the praise is due to Brian Mullins. He planted the ball with a long foot pass to the full forward. Tommy Conroy. Joe McNally here, knocked away by Mark Healy, comes to Kieran Duff. John Cockley, loose on the far side, the shot from John Cockley in the point. John Cockley, the right half forward today, despite that 13. Selected and numbered as the right quarter forward, but playing right half. The left, Joe McNally gets it, back into the centre. Antonio O'Toole is on it for Dublin. Back to 
Kieran Dunphy has a straight one on it and a point that was so nicely done Joe McBally over in the left corner prevented it going wide back into Anton O'Toole Anton didn't try to turn round and go for the score put it right into the path that the inrushing Kieran Dunphy and he gets the score Tommy Trump Brian Mullins and the referee brings the first half to an end with a half-time score. Dublin are leading one goal and seven points to Cork's five points. We'll be back for the second half after a commercial break. And the second half is on. And there's such a big crowd here in Forky Cueve that they're still counting the gate receipt and the attendance down below. We've just checked. The sun has gone in momentarily. But it's still a beautiful day by the league. Brian Mullins again. To Barney Rock. Barney Rock trying to find Joe McNally. Cut out by Mark Healy. It comes to Kieran Duff. Kieran can't get past. Kieran with the shot now. He's good. Third point today for Kieran Duff. He was so persistent then. He deserved that score. John Cleary with the kick. The breeze behind him. Porter six points behind. That's curling nicely in. He allowed for the breeze very nicely. John Cleary just out at midfield, driving Cork forward. Can they open up something? This is John Allen. A Tight Murphy rather, Jimmy Kerrigan, John Allen now with the shot, he blasts it wide. Oh, John Allen was so well positioned then and the build-up was so good. But he puts it way far side of the field. McCreed knocks it down to Tight Murphy. Still Tight Murphy making tracks. Gets it to Dave Barry. Jimmy Kerrigan is there. John Allen now. Must be a penalty. It is a penalty. John Allen. It was Dave Barry and Jimmy Kerrigan, the left half back, had popped up there to John Allen. John Allen has pulled down. And the number 20 is Ty O'Reilly, who was brought in last Sunday. And he's replacing... Owen Amani. Owen obviously not completely recovered from the injury he got last Sunday. Now it's Dave Barry to face John O'Leary, or John O'Leary here facing Dave Barry. Remember, Dublin have got one. Cork have got another. Just those two points separating them. And what a semi-final we've got now. Fantastic atmosphere in Porky Creek. Even greater than if this game had gone back to Croke Park. Dublin again on the attack here and up here. He's on his own. Mark, Mark Healy with him now. He's got it. Came in from midfield, Kieran Duff picked it up around the 45 metre line. He ran right through, Mark Healy tried to pick him up, but he just walked in and slid it in under the body of Michael Creighton. Cork coming back, Dominic Creighton here. Can they recover again? Can they stay, come back into the game? Tyke Murphy here from a difficult angle. That's a quick reply from Cork. In the middle of the field, more pressure coming on the Cork defence, and that defence has been in such trouble today. This is Joe McNally, one of the men who's caused it. Tommy Conroy now, the centre half forward, gets past Christy Ryan, Jimmy Carrigan, but Tommy gets the point. We haven't seen too much of the centre half forward today, but that was a nice run by the young 19-year-old. 
Mike Murphy here. PJ Buckley, the number seven. Jimmy Kerrigan overlapping. Still Jimmy Kerrigan. He's about 25 meters out. That's a great point by the halfback. Jimmy Kerrigan hooked him all the way downfield. Antonio Tool. Joe McNally is popping up everywhere today. Joe McNally, beautiful score. 18 years of age, and he's really couldn't have dreamt about this. If a script writer wrote this summer for Joe McNally, he couldn't have improved on the 1983 that it's been. Here's another Joe McNally. Antonio Tool. Barney Rock is inside. Joe McNally now. Joe McNally shot. Cut off by John Evans. Antonio O'Toole is here recovering. Can he get inside? Coleman Corrigan is the number nine. Tommy Conroy from the 20 meter line. He's got the score. Great persistence and trust in that attack by Dublin. Anton O'Toole is under it, Kevin Kelly recovering fast. Anton gets it into his possession. And the cross, Barney Rock is there. Yes, it must be the goal. the greatest heroes of the afternoon, Brian Mullins, the number nine. 